Is that it? Hi and welcome to It's Tronicle. In this episode we're going to do a basic episode, a very quick basics video on connecting up one of these cheap RLI9341 base screens. This is a 320 by 240 pixel one. We'll be using the RLI9341 driver software to actually get it going. Now this one is particularly cheap. This one costs about the price of two good cups of coffee or several very cheap ones. It around about just over £5 or so I paid for it, which is a similar amount in euros or dollars, give or take. And the reason I'm doing this guide, if you buy one of the more expensive ones, and they are quite a lot more expensive, then their drivers often don't work with these cheaper boards. In fact, this one didn't. I base this work, what I'm about to show you, on the Adafruit drivers. I will be using Adafruit drivers and Adafruit uh, examples and demos, as this one what's showing now is. We'll be using those. But when I originally connected it all up, according to the rough guides they had, which was really based around the screen that they sell, it didn't work. And it took a little bit of tweaking and just adding some connections on that they weren't using to actually get it going. So if you buy one of these cheaper screens and you follow my guide, then you should be fine. Let's get started. So the Arduino has connected the 5 volts to this 5 volt rail here and I've connected the ground of the Arduino to this ground rail here. And then we come to the actual screen, first connection is VCC so that connected to 5 volts via that, light, that wire to there and that red wire. The next one is ground which sneaks off around there to ground. And then we've got the chip select which goes to pin D10, so it goes off to pin D10 over there, and chip select just means it's going to select this device to be able to talk to on the SBI bus. Uh, you can have several devices on the same SBI bus, and depending on which chip select uh, line is, is is lowered, is grounded, will depend on which device will start listening. And then the next one is the reset, and the reset goes to the Arduino's reset, which is just there. So we've got that connected to the reset line. And the next one is the DC, which is like a data control register. Just basically how it's, you know, it's going to talk to the different parts of memory or the registers of this device. And that goes to the D9 pin of the Arduino. And then we've got D11, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because I'm losing count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this one is the Mozzie pin. And that goes off to D11 of the Arduino. The next... Keep losing my players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The next one is the clock, basically. And that clock goes to D13 pin. So it sort of goes down here, jumps over there, and goes over to the D13 pin over there. And then the last one is this one, which is the LED. And that just connects up to 5 volts. So otherwise, you won't be able to see the screen. And you may say, I've just said that's the last one. When in fact, there is another wire connected. This wire is optional. You do not need this to make your screen work and write to it at all. This is the MISO 
wire connection. So this is the Mysore connection going to the D12 pin of the Arduino. If you're having problems getting this green working, some of the Adafruit software that we're going to show in a little while will actually talk to this and try and get it to return some basic information from about itself. So if you get no information back, then you know that you're basically not talking to the screen in the first place. So if you're having problems, you may want to connect up the Mysore line, but it's not essential. Okay, so let's look at the libraries we need. We'll get them installed and we'll upload a demo to the screen. Okay, so we need to install a couple of libraries first. The first one, let's go to include library and manage libraries. And type in 9341. And the one you want is the Adafruit ILI 9341 driver, which you can see I've got it installed there. So you select that and you click install. Then you want, if you've not already installed it before, although if you have, I'd recommend you get make sure you're with the latest version, otherwise you can have problems with some functions not being available. I certainly did, I had to update to the latest version to get this to work. So you want the Adafruit graphics library. So Adafruit GR will probably be enough. That's not. There it is, that one there. So Adafruit GFX library by Adafruit. Install that, make sure you've got the latest version, just in case. In fact, it's saying update there, let's just check. I mean, this version will definitely work that I've got. Since I've done this just a few days ago, the update is 1.4.3, so get the latest version, 1.4.2 definitely works. So install that, and then when you've done that, you'll be able to get one of the examples that they've got. So then go to File, and Examples, and right the way down, there it is and go to the graphics test. As we've wired it, this will work perfectly. We'll bring up the board, and you can see when it's powered up, no cord running, the LED is on full brightness and it's white. If I unplug the LED, you'll see that'll go off, so I'll just pop that wire up. There you go, and pop it back in. So you could put that under control of the Arduino if you wanted, you could connect that to one of the output pins. I think there's enough, it can handle the amount of current that this is doing. I'd have to check, but I think it could. But there it is, all on, ready to wait for some demo code. So let's upload this graphics test. And it's starting to upload, we should see it appear on screen soon. And there we go. So it goes through the standard sort of Adafruit test that they do. Get some text, get some lines drawn. They do this with basically all their display screens. And that's it, working perfect. So that's it for now. I'm going to do some more projects using this screen, quite like this screen. I might even look at, I think we'll have to look at speeding up for normal applications. This sort of speed is fine. As I do the odd game or two, and I've got a game that I definitely want to do that I was mean to do. Well, I started a few months ago with a different screen, which turned out to be not suitable when I thought it would be. I'm gonna try and work with this screen, see if I can get the speed and what I need out of this screen, which I think I can. And then I'll be doing some game work as well. And some other projects involving the screen. I think it's really neat. And we'll also, uh, I'll do a quick video at some point with the connections you need to do and the software you need to do so that it is a touch sensitive. So you can actually click on things as well. But that's it for now. Thank you very much if you've got to this part of the video and put up with my voice. My voice, as you've noticed, has been going again. It's gonna be like this for a, a little while. A bit craggy, a bit croaky, but hopefully we'll get it sorted um, shortly, in a few weeks, hopefully. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. Or if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see some more. And if you want to patronise me, go to Patreon. If you want to patronise me, then leave a comment below. All for now, catch you later.